Yes, no. Bless now. Don't forget the rest now. There's that King of the Pit TV signing in live and large once again. Yo, at there's Rocksteady on Instagram. You know, we're going to put the metal down for one moment and we're going to check out a hardcore record. I've only listened to one You For Today record back to front and uh, that one is not this one. It's Break Down The Walls. I've heard Break Down The Walls quite a few times, yeah? This one's entitled We're Not In This Alone. This is the third record they put out. Uh, the second being Can't Close My Eyes, which I may have heard one or two tunes off of, but not in its entirety, all right? So we're going to check this out. Bit hard call for a change. Only 19 minutes long. I do have the track listing with me so we can have a run through. And without further ado, let's get straight into it, people. Nice change of pace. Wow, wow. Let's go. Yo, and just so we know, this first track is entitled Flame Still Burns. DJ, DJ. Yo, pay attention, I thought I knew the lyrics then, did I? <laughs> Uh, that drum beat just pure tupa 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 there's an amazing clarity in the production value to say the intensity and the speed as to which is being played um, don't get me wrong it might only be a few power chords but um, it's sounding tight as a unit the guitars are playing like bouncing back and forth from the power chords uh, to a degree where it would actually be quite technically tough to do so without you know accidentally making a few blunders and mistakes and not sort of holding it to time as well as they are doing on the record uh, i don't want to get into too much analysis because you know it is hardcore punk at the end of the day and it's not you know i'm not listening to dream theater today but it is what it is i gotta make comments somewhere right you for today we're going back because i just missed uh the mosh Oh, all right. I don't want to start hating. That sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? That timing. That timing doesn't sound great. I'm not gonna lie to you. That timing doesn't sound great on that bit. I'm going back. Them stabs were clean. Uh, I loved it when the bass came in on the dun 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 dun, dun on the third time around the third revolution. Oh, that's tight. You can't go wrong with them gang chants. They are very well produced. Um, I've done gang chants in studios with different producers with um, numerous methods. And a lot, well, the general consensus tends to be gang chants need a bunch of people. If not, uh, it doesn't sound great. You know, if you've got one or two people sort of doing it, if it's a solo project, let's say, them chants are just going to come out sort of like some degree of heavy delay or you know whatever in between so they got a few heads in the studio obviously laying down these gang chants and the harmonics on the guitars are pretty cool i don't know where these harmonics in youth crew music stem from so if you're aware of how early these um, natural harmonics on the guitar came in because it's actually quite a bizarre i don't want to say novelty but it is right it's a bizarre novelty for 
youth crew bands to be playing them natural harmonics. It's a relatively technical thing to do on a guitar as far as punk music goes. So I'm interested to know where that stemmed from. Regardless, that was the first track. I'm sure we're expecting a lot of like from here. Next up is Slow Down. Des, King of the Pit TV, at Des Rocksteady. This next one is entitled Slow Down. We're not in this alone. <laughs> The bass is driving so far. We're only the second tune in, but our bass guitar is taking peak position. <laughs> nice uh, unison bends on there. I made in style, come on. Quality. Um, I was trying to follow the lyrical content for that one. Um, I sort of projected my own concept upon it. I don't think I'm spot on, but it seems to me like a song about don't stop, stop wishing for the future. Just allow yourself to be involved within the present time. Slow down, okay? Enjoy what you've got. Look at the present. Stop looking forward because... You know, life is, uh, you know, not long enough, right? So that was entitled Slow Down. Um, I really enjoyed the little dance floor filler with the bass line. Uh, what came in about three quarters in. That was nice. It didn't last for long, but it was it was short and sweet. Got my dancing shoes on for that one. That was nice. Uh, the triplets. That was nice. Of course, you've got the trademark gang chants. Slow down. And there we go. Let's move on to the next one. So what we got next is entitled Choose to Be. I don't know what this one could be relating to. Can't make much sense out of that title. But, you know, it's Des at King of the Pit TV. First time listening to this record. This is Choose to Be off of We Are Not In This Alone. <laughs> These gang chants might be one of the most important aspects of this band. The sing-along, pylon aspect of this band is absolutely incredible. Um, what am I needing to say? The band does raging fast, traditional-esque punk slash hardcore punk music without it coming across as so overtly aggressive and distorted that it is just that solid block wall of sound, nasty audacity you hear from, I would like to say 80% upwards of bands who try to approach their instrumental with such intensity. It's very clean, it's very tight, and the I don't know who produced this record, but they did a brilliant job. It's, it's a really clean sounding 
record for as intense the instrumental is. Vocally, I wouldn't expect any less. The vocals are spot on, the vocals are very unique, and the vocals are youth of today. Alright, you tell me who the front man of youth of today is. I get a couple of the members' names a little mixed up, alright? So, let's get straight back into it. No more. No more. Anybody seen the music video for No More? Is that the first expletive I've heard from a Youth of Today tune before? It may possibly be. I'm quite I'm quite shocked. Yo, we got a mother there as well. Come on now. That's not how I just that's good songwriting. We finished off with the title of the track, really emphasised on it. Um, that was good. That was a good tune. Good lyrical. Let's get straight on to the next one. King of the Pit TV. Des, at Des Rocksteady. First time we're listening to Put It Aside by you for today. We're not in this alone. Put it aside. Energy. There's a lot of expletives on this record. Uh, from what I said earlier about not hearing uh, swears in this band before. I don't know what I'm on about. I must have completely forgotten about it, to be honest with you. Because, you know, with how frequently they're occurring, there's no doubt that there's, you know, a little bit of harsh language in this band. Quite surprising, though. He spits lyrics out at times, really crams it into the space it needs to be. I bet that's troublesome live to hold on to that vocal and to have such um what what do you call it? To have um is it diction? Perhaps that's the wrong term for it, but to have such a great pronunciation of what he's trying to say live, because really is crammed at times. So it's very impractical. I think that was my favourite track off of this record so far. What was that called? Put It Aside. Put It... Yeah, I think that was Put It Aside. That was a good tune. That was a good tune. I loved that borderline spoken word uh, section right there at the end. If anything, we're going to go listen back to it again. I really enjoyed that bit. Where 
self-awareness being aware of who you are what you can provide and what you have accomplished and what you have up here don't need to prove it to anyone else that 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 was that was a good tune that i really enjoyed that one that, that was put aside i hope that a song on this record is going to beat that because that sets a high standard already really good wake up and live there's king of the pit tv this one is wake up and live first time i've heard it you for today we're not in this alone let's go Rager of a record so far. Slap shut that. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, wake up and live. That was a good tune. It was a little bit preachy. Um, you know, who's to say I need to wake up and live? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think it should be about you need to wake up and live. You know, because I, I don't wanna if I haven't done. So that was um, wake up and live. Good tune. Um, I've seen a lot of bands over here in England. There was a brief period, for as long as I've been in the circuit at least, um, regarding local acts starting youth crew s bands. And none of them pulled off a sound like this before. You always had an emphasis on the on the drums, which I haven't heard that rhythm whatsoever uh, in this record so far. That f quality, energetic three chord verse, that sort of stuff. No one really pulled that off. I sort of went for that. This sound as to which I'm hearing is just really, um, you know, I know what I know. We're talking about a later period of hardcore, but this might as well be a roots hardcore act to me, as far as the sound I'm hearing. If I was to think of a hardcore punk sound, this would fit a very, um, you know, I would tick the old traditional hardcore punk sort of value uh, on the checklist when it came to this sound. Yeah, really good. Really good. Uh, they definitely got a formula. Now, I don't think uh, it's an intentional formula. Uh, more so, they have a lot of sections that sound the same. When I listen to the record, uh, Break Down the Walls, I'd say three or four of them songs just sound like the exact same song, but with different lyrics. Uh, so you do hear a lot of the same reoccurring, uh, re repetitious sections, just maybe with a different vocal line or a different gang chant or so forth. But... That was the sound of this band, and it's undeniably the youth of today's sound. So, let's move on to the next tune. Let's see what we got. No, oh yes, this one's entitled "No More." I want to say, you're listening to Des King of the Pit TV. We're listening to you for today. We're not in this alone. The full album, first time I've heard it. This one's entitled "No More." I have seen the music video for this. I know it's a vegan straight edge number. Maybe more so on the vegan and the uh, anti-meat aspect. This one's no more. No more. Almost like no a, a first wave no British bass line. Reminds me of Chaos UK or something. No more. 
biggest build up we've had on this record so far. Stage dives. What's cool, and it's cool because it's punk, it wouldn't be cool if this was like a metal act or something, is how it feels the drummer is going to just ruin the record at any point. Like the timing and sort of the way it's just sort of, not glued together, but sellotaped together uh, to the instrumental. Feels like it's going to fall apart at any moment, but that's what sort of grips you and just makes it sound absolutely... Um, you know, very roots and very unpolished in a positive manner. Because them um, beating away at the toms there sounds good. It sounds like um, sounds like a train uh, getting across the tracks. But you know, you think is he gonna is he gonna come in on the right moment when <laughs> when this next line comes in. No! No! The stuttering vocal is quality. Good. Really good. Incredible, incredible, what a statement to make. Wow, brilliant. It's hard because you have to be bold to make such statements, but it's rare, even in hardcore, that you find acts now that are standing up and really putting forth music and words to music that... that you know really pursue a strong belief of the lyricist almost always tends to be controversial as it has to be polarizing to be a bold statement and in doing so you garner you become successful because you garner attention from those whom support you and those who don't support you, whether they don't like it or not, they're paying attention to what you have to say because it sparks interest and in some sort of emotive, emotional connection. And that's really brilliant. That's what this band can do. The lyric is a genuine belief and it's not, Ugh, I'm so mad, man. I'm always mad. Oh, I've got nothing else to say then. I hate everything, man. It's none of that corny, cheesy, empty nonsense. There's, there's, there's statements to be made. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. Really good. That was no more. That was no more. That was no more. I mean, I've heard that tune before. That's one tune on this record I've heard before because I've seen the music video to it. And... It even gets me thinking, I know I'm reacting to it, but as far as every tune on the record so far, that one in particular, I would have the most to say. Because just through the little I've heard, through the lyric, it gives you food for thought. Pardon the pun. Really good. That was no more. All right. There's King of the Pit TV. Youth of today, we're not in this alone. We're listening to this for the first time around. 
this tune is entitled What Goes Around. Uh, with a title like that, I assume it's kind of a hard tune. I'm expecting a few good one-liners. You're fucking with feelings. You're effing with heads. So I had to censor that second one. Because I don't think the algorithm's pleased with that. But this is a song about bullies, users, manipulators. Watch out, you're falling down. Here we go. It's gotta be a sing along, sing along. gonna go back on that the gang chants actually um, accenting the riff whereas the vocal line sort of lies upon the top with the audacity with the volume Come on. <laughs> Quality, do I have too much to say about that one? What can I say? It's just balls to the walls, fast hardcore, innit? There's probably about three sections in that tune. There was the verse, and then there was the little back and forth section of the punk bit, and then there was the little mooch section, and then back into the punk. Yeah, quality, quality. It's amazing how this band has done, has, has got the um, value it has in this modern day and age even though the actual music revolved around three chords back to back from not the best set of musicians but together they formed this unit which really uh, stood the test of time uh, I attract some real fans on this channel so I'm sure you know what I'm saying seems quite naive because no doubt there was a real heavy social movement based around this band as far as the fan base went. So I'm only talking on it as far as, you know, just listening to the music and appreciating it for what I'm hearing and what I can potentially imagine them times were like. Dude, this record was out before I was born, so, um, you know, that's just a little disclaimer. Um, of course, Disregarding the instrumental, I am a musician, so I pay attention to that first and foremost. I am sure that it is the lyrical content and the um, more so the politicized lyric which really formed the emphasis of the band's success uh, to this day. But the lyrical value, as far as being a little more deep and having a lot more thought in that pen than your yeah, traditional band. That just comes and goes and doesn't necessarily have so much heart involved because this band has a very um, a very strong heart right come on right I'll see you when I'm back yeah bless now bless now people don't forget the rest now there's signing in once again we're listening to you for today we're not in this alone the entire record I've not listened to it before we're having a whale of a time jamming through these tracks this next tune is entitled Potential Friends. I don't know if this is a little of a uh, positive number. Feeling whimsical, feeling positive about potentially making friends with uh, that cool looking fellow with the merchandise at the gig. 
Who knows? Let's get into it. Potential friends, people. What's the what's the concept? Who knows? Different tempo this time. to it the timing was bizarre and um, the tempo was a nice change so we've gone from super fast to just fast uh, I was initially a bit confused as to where the lyric was going uh, but we spoke of anxiety and potentially about people some people being more than him am I correct in saying that um, but we could be the best of friends could that be perceived as cheesy it could be, but should it be purely because it's more of a positive number? Surely that was a positive tune, right? Speaking from the high, he said the, the, the amount of friends I could have made or something along the lines of that. Which is true, you know? For opening our mouths and sort of conquering the fear and the anxiety that, uh, you know, that societal pressure that is weighed upon us when we're just going about our daily business we could meet some incredible people so that, that that's actually a really cool tune very thought-provoking tune obviously I don't necessarily know the deep concept of it because I'd need to get the lyrics up and really pay attention uh, but from what I took from it it's a nice change you know a little bit of PMA a little bit of realism in there human connection is the most important thing really good really good there's King of the Pit TV, we're listening to you for today, we're not in this alone, we're moving on to the next track. Uh, this one is entitled, A Time We'll Remember. We might be getting positive now. Them splash symbols are just piercing through the record. They sound massive, they sound really good. The drummer's splash cymbal, just accenting the change of the chord is fantastic. Really going mad on it as well. Good music and good friends, does it get any better? It's getting too late to appreciate, and soon it will be the past. A very mindful act, very mindful lyrics. Really good, really, really good. It's such a nice change from hearing someone just rant and rave about what they dislike. Proper good, really good. Memories were getting fucking loud. Maybe it can. This is the one. Was that the same track? That was a. It jumped into a different key, I think. Only you know 
little bit of lead guitar there at the end. It's nice to have a little bit of lead because they don't go over the top and add one guitar solo. It's not necessary. But you know, a few unison bends here and there from the lead and uh, a, a ringing of that one particular note then adds a little bit of substance, right? As opposed to just the consistency of the three chord punk uh, with the snarling vocal over the top and the tupper, tupper, tupper. Yeah, that was cool. That was a decent track, that. Some very insightful lyrics, as always. It's a reoccurring theme. The lyrical is just really good. I think the lyrical is what sets them apart so well. Uh, would this band be as good if it was a half-assed vocalist, the top of this instrumental? You tell me, all right? Live free. Des, King of the Pit TV. You for today, we're not on this low. We're listening to the full record. This one is the title, Live Free. And with the title of this record, uh, I would recommend searching live free in uh, into youtube and finding the account called live free there's a person uh, <laughs> there's a person who goes around and audits police officers and so forth he basically just goes to police stations and so forth and just annoys them and sees how they react and sort of you know asks them questions uh, which may or may not be important for the people you know to hold uh, the coppers accountable and responsible and obviously you know we're listening to hardcore today so I'd recommend you check that channel out because it is entertaining and you know the fellas are working class head who's doing the right thing you know what I mean applying a little bit of pressure in the right direction instead of always on us so shout out to live free the channel this tunes entitled live free let's jump straight in <laughs> I want to live free, I won't settle for this mediocrity. Come on! Kinda metal that. If you listen to these stabs and that chugging, that's quite a metal riff. Metal. good uh, a little qualm I have though um, I say this when I can because if there's any musicians or lyric writers in there I just want to add my uh, little perspective on lyric writing uh, I write songs uh, I've written a lot plenty of hardcore songs to be honest plenty of metal songs as well and I've done this before but uh, taking a deep dive into you know the psychology of songwriting and stuff we're having a conversation so if i want to engage if i'm a writer songwriter and i want to engage with the audience um and this is like hardcore 101 every hardcore band does this and i don't necessarily agree with it um it's what i've experienced in this tune let me just go back and pay attention to a line or two Because you sit complacent, right? Because they sit complacent. We need to talk about them and they and the other people. If I'm having a conversation with you, I'm not going to be there saying you are complacent. You are. What are you going to feel towards me if I keep saying you're a bad person? You need to do this, you need to do that. So as a lyric writer, it's best to have a third party to point the finger at as far as like negative connotations and stuff. Because you don't want to write a record where you're just slagging off 
the listener and saying you're a bad person you're this you're that and it goes with all of the bands because every hardcore band on planet earth writes their first songs like i hate you you're the worst blah de, blah de, blah and it's just not worth it it's just not worth it and i know this is a counterculture but as far as radio music goes and pop music goes and so forth and um, those songs are produced to entice and create positive rapport between the artist and the listeners and that's why they get promoted to the degree they do and advertised to the degree they do they wouldn't be able to do that if the song was about oh i don't like you you're the worst blah de, blah no radio station is going to be plugging that sort of stuff because it's not gonna you know people are going to listen to that people are going to want to listen to that if they're driving off to work or doing this and that you know what i mean i know it's punk music and counterculture but there are still foundations of lyric writing which can be you know considered when it comes to it anyway i digress i know i annoy a few people when i go off on a tangent but uh i just feel it's necessary because it you know i don't like to hear it too much so let's move on to the next track Des King of the Pit TV listening to you for today. We are not in this alone. The full album, first time listening. This next one's entitled Understand. Sorry, I had the end of the last track. This one's Understand. Come on. That was brilliant that was brilliant that was a really good tune uh that had so many breakdowns and in and outs of the instrumentation i didn't know where it was going to finish that was really good uh the snare was getting a good beating throughout that track really good yeah really good indeed um the gang vocals on that little bridge breakdown section were proper good i don't know what was being said but it was one syllable at a time that was good and yeah what else can i say it was youth of today man uh if you want to start a band and sound like youth of today i'll put a youth of today riff in it's just da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, just pick and choose your power chords and there you go three chords is all you need there you go you for today 101 let's go let's move on to this next track people there's King of the Pit TV listening to We Are Not In This Alone. This one is entitled Prejudice. Let's go, people. You're gonna be judged too. Eye for an eye. You take in your skin, you split up your body. How many more bad feelings can you fucking stop? Try to make hatred, she's a fucking tool. Don't you fat sheep, come on, the fuck out! Look at you! Very catchy gang chant. 
Slapshot-esque as well. Prejudice! Prejudice! Quite a heavy metal um, shake to the riff. You're just prejudiced. Let's finish off, yeah? Two tunes in one. This one's entitled Keep It Up. Not Keep It Up here. You can put the football away. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep it up. You know it counts as my own problems. You're happy at all. Every time you and the All that you've learned, don't take the wrong turn. Real talk, come on. You're gonna get back. Keep it up. Go ahead. Keep it up. This is a fantastic message to finish the record off with. Keep it up. I hope you don't. Keep it up. I'm getting no respect. Live up to it. Did you just say, I hope you don't keep it up? What's the deal with that? You don't keep it up, I'm getting no respect. Live up to it. Never like a trend. That's why you quit. And no one is strong. You know that you're strong. You know the whole time that you gotta belong. So go ahead. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm a little bit blagged as to whether this is a positive message or it's uh, like quite an aggressive message, so keep it up, you're being a complete idiot. I hope you don't. Keep it up! Maybe it's a song about performance anxiety. Alright people, if you got this far, please let me know what that song was about. Because uh, by the end of it, I started to think this was quite a negative song. Based on a person who's who's not in a, you know, making the right decisions. But I would have thought that it would have been about, you know, you're doing alright, keep it up. I don't know. I couldn't make sense out of it in all honesty. I think there was a bit of both and I just couldn't put the two halves together. So we just listened to you for today. We're not in this alone. What did I think of it? I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I think it's. I don't think it's a record that I would listen uh, one song at at a time. It's a record I'd like to just have on Revolution from start to finish. It just seems like it's a, a record to be cohesive, uh, something to flow from A to B. There's no mm, real standout tunes for me. I like no more, but maybe more so of the novelty value of the hamburger getting slapped out of the hand on the music video, because uh, that's what me and my mates have a joke about. Um, that's what we like, and yeah, other than that, it is what it is. It's 
really reinforcing the youth of today's sound I was aware of, which is the free chord, uh, hardcore punk. The vocal just cannot be compared with any other vocal. In my experience, you might know a lot of bands with vocals alike, but to me, this is the original sound of that particular vocal style. Um, I couldn't even tell you which member of the band did the vocal as far as the name goes. Uh, I would give a go, but I think I might get the wrong band member. Uh, but I do like the vocal a lot. Uh, the lyrical content uh, definitely is unmatched. I actually think that the lyrical content as far as hardcore and hardcore punk goes, conceptually, uh, is some of the best. Really some of the best. Um, we've got the tupper tuppers on the fast and then the duh, 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 the tums and uh, faffing about on the toms during the bridge sections where we'll go into a mid-paced punk sort of sing-along section and then gang chants will really just sort of scatter along in the right places uh, the gang chants as a whole I think the gang chants run every bloody song and how amazing is that because normally they're a bit of a novelty for a band to throw in every once in a while but you for today utilize them gang chants throughout the entirety of the record which is pretty cool so rather than it just being a momentary novelty it's really enforced that this is a sing-along band and that is really good that is um, a fantastic means of engaging with the audience and creating you know a great market for themselves all right so that was you for today. We're not in this alone. Uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Was it any different to the one record I have heard before? Break Down the Walls? So, so. Different concept matters. Aside from the concept matter of the lyric. Instrumentally, not necessarily so. What do I mind? I still enjoyed it regardless. So I'm signing out. That's Des King of the Pit TV. Subscribe at Des Rocksteady on Instagram. Let's talk music. Let's move on to the next record, people. One love.